Rolling with Nat 20. I'm Nat 20, and we're back with more Earthbound. And Jeff, presumably our new main character, as uh, Ness and Paulowin got themselves captured. And now we're Jeff and a monkey. Jeff and the monkey. You know, the spinoff that we demanded all along. <laughs> well, maybe not we. I, I certainly demanded Jeff and the monkey as a spinoff, and I'm getting it. We don't get to know too much about Jeff. He's uh, the son of a famous inventor, the best inventor, something like that. And the monkey's just a monkey. Likes bubblegum, hanging out with us. The tame animals have become wild. Something evil is going on. So, why don't you rest here for a short while? Have something to drink, perhaps some tea? I mean, I turned down free tea from some strangers in the woods. I just jumped out of... Uh, I just broke out of a boarding school. So, this path is very maze-like with a lot of dead ends. I wonder if there's a lot of things for us to be finding. I feel confident that we found a rest area that we're on at least kind of the right path. Whatever gets us south, right? Here's, there's another tent here. I feel like tents are a good sign that we're going in the right direction. There's no problem in this tent. And I guess being served up tea in the other tent was a problem. I heard that the wind is always blowing and Tessie appears. I feel like I'm catching a cold. Tessie may unexpectedly be living in the woods. I personally think so. Alright, so, they're looking for Tessie, this world's version of the Loch Ness Monster. Good to know. What a cute little monkey! Would you like a piece of gum? Maybe monkeys don't like gum. This monkey loves gum, it's just dumb like you. You're right. We're here at Lake Tess, waiting to see Tessie. We're known as the Tessie Watching Club. So, you've also been bitten by Tessie Mania. You're in luck! We may be able to see Tessie tomorrow. I can't wait. Maybe I'm supposed to talk to people in some of these things. Some of these tents. I'm the cook for the... I'm the cook for the Tessie watching club. How about some stew? Yeah. Oh no, there's no need to pay me. You are a friend who I have never met before. Jeff. Head south. I am Paula. If you hear this message, go to the south. Working through the night. Jeff fixed the broken spray can. After being fixed, the broken spray can became the defense spray. Nice. Yes, okay, good. I was assuming everything was working, but then I realized the mic didn't actually have a test. So, we ate some stew. It's tomorrow. What does some defense spray do for us? Help. Most effective if you use this power multiple times to layer the effect. Gone after one use. Great. Use it multiple times, but you can only use it once. Alright, are there more people in the news ones to talk to? I find Tessie, do you think I'll get to be in the newspaper? I'm looking for my 15 minutes of fame. Ooh. Yes, relax me. I, Jeff, contain no PP and never shall. But I still enjoy a relaxing butterfly. Alright. Alright. Well. The music's changed a little bit. One person thinks that Tessie lives in the woods. Uh. But also out here. Give me some gum now. I'll take care of everything. Whoa! Tessie likes monkeys. See, all we needed was some bubble gum so we could get a monkey, so that we could get a Loch Ness monster. Perfect logic. And just Jeff, without question, just like, yep. 
I'm just gonna ride the back of this uh, creature. Even that butterfly is just stunned, just like, ah, uh, what am I witnessing? Hello. Why? Just get a fun little tune on our tromp down here. Well, I guess this is as far as Tessie takes us. Well, thanks, Tessie. That was awesome. And may we never go back to that really uh, expensive baseball bat that would probably have been broken if we got Vernes at this point. Farewell. We didn't have the ATM card nor money on hand to buy it. We had two dollars. Well, now we made our way to this cave. Ah, if only we had the pencil eraser, we could get rid of this strange pencil-shaped iron statue blocking the path. And brick road. Instead, we have to go to this dungeon has no entrance fee. Come on in. Yay. I did take a break. I was just taking like a five minute break. Uh, sorry if I didn't make that clear. Welcome to the modest dungeon, Brick Road. Alright, I kinda remember this a little bit. There's a little mice I have to fight and a lot of chests that I can open. Blammo! Ah, that makes sense. Glad to see that you're uh, back. I, I presume back on the laptop, meaning it's back alive, but I suppose you could be on a different device. <laughs> Alright, we've defeated that rat for this bread. That doesn't seem right. I don't think we should be beating up mice for bread. Suddenly it becomes a mouse to me, now that I know what I beat it up for. Alright, this mad duck's getting beat up for whatever treasure it has. Bubble Monkey agrees, this duck needs to go. Oh no! Not my sigh! The duck confuses me and I can't use my sigh, as if I had any bean jet. Well, Jeff might want to eat that cookie that I got earlier, because he's gotten a little beaten up now. There's an insecticide spray. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh yeah, let's eat this cookie. How good's bread for us? Help. 30. Nah, we'll see this other cookie. Yeah. Currently back on laptop, but it gets really hot and slows down. Ah. That's no good. It's been a while since I've had a laptop, but I recall that happening a lot to it before it uh, eventually faded away on me. The key with fighting is Jeff. Is basically you just keep hitting the attack button and occasionally an item is gonna be important but he doesn't have any sort of spells or anything like that no sigh so we don't have to worry about am I making the wrong decisions there it's all about the stuff in his backpack a broken iron that could be helpful for Jeff to maybe try to fix someday it seems as though he fixes stuff randomly when he sleeps Ooh, what's this sign in the middle say? Watch for falling materials. Brick road. <laughs> Pictures taking instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say my so myself. Where did you fall from? This is a cave. Why are you magical and nothing about you makes sense? 
You tricked me into reading this sign for that photo op. You crazy old man. What is your endgame? One of the things I love about this game is it was designed in an era where people cared much little to ju uh, much less about justifying things in their games and were a lot more prone to just being like, eh, because video games! Why does this dude fall out of the sky and take my picture? Because video games, duh. What's what's your problem? You know, I should have realized that this present was gonna come at me because that other present came at me. That's alright. Protoplasm, don't you dare call in friends. Yeah, you just poke me for eight and get beaten up. I do not want you to grab all your friends and wreck me up with that. I don't think I need to heal the deal with a little mouse. I'll feel bad if I'm just beating him up for bread like I did the last one. But yeah, the mouse can only hit me for one, so it's not like he's even that big of a threat. Also, I'm, I'm 34 experience is a lot more than I thought I'd get from beating up a mouse. I like them unrolling Jeff this way, where Jeff's getting some uh, experience and isn't going to be super low level like Paula. Stun gun. Um, which is a croissant worth? 60. That's better than the bread. How much is the boiled egg? Four. Alright, alright. Well, let's eat this bread. Take this stun gun. And, yeah, I was wondering if that was just something that Jeff could equip. Yeah, stun gun. Better than a pop gun. Now we're going to electrocute our foes into submission. Maxwell Labs here. Hello, Jeff. Would you like me to keep a record of your journey? All right. Do you want to take a break? Never. All right. Go for it, bad boy. What does this sign say? Way to go. Please come back again. Brick Road. We're never coming back here. Give me a prize. Maybe it was too easy? My name is Brick Road. Dungeon developer. I devoted my life to making dungeons. Well, by combining my skills in Dr. Arnott's intelligence, I can become Dungeon Man. The first combination of human and dungeon in history. It's me again once I have become Dungeon Man. Would you like to get a good night rest? Yes. What? Dungeon? Is that a thing? What? I don't understand you. Take care, come back again. I want to know more. I don't understand you, good sir. But I want to. Dungeon Man? I too want to be Dungeon Man. What is... What does Dungeon Man entail? What? Alright, well we're gonna... We're gonna zap some slugs and some mice. Ooh, I forgot the mice are good at them smash attacks. The real danger isn't in that they can bite for one, it's that they have the high likelihood of smashing for more. Oh, great. Well, one fight and I'm already pretty beat up. Browser freaked out when you were on the balcony so you didn't realize I was back on. No worries, Jackal. You haven't missed, uh, too much. We walked through, like, a tutorial dungeon. The tutorial being, uh, that they needed some reason to give Jeff some basic experience points so that we don't run into the same issue with, with Paula, where she's level 1 and Ness is level 20 and she's just around getting the crap kicked out of her. So it was pretty straightforward. There wasn't too many twists and turns. No monsters to give us really any trouble. Just experience. Alright, well we'll take out this mouse because this mouse uh, 
has a real good chance of getting crits on me. Though the slug does more damage standard. We'll take him down. Easier. There we go, that's better. My controller has like a, a broken right bumper button, so works out a little strange. Not that broken, it still works, it just feels weird. It doesn't feel like I'm pushing a button. It feels like I'm pushing on solid plastic and stuff is happening. If I could pop it out any. Oh, probably not. You know what I think I can do just real quick? I can change it to the trigger. SNES doesn't need R1 and R2. Ah. There we go. Alright, we'll just use it on a different button. It'll be great. Problem solved. There we go. Now it doesn't feel like I'm hitting just broken plastic over and over. I have to get a new controller or something. Or figure out if one of my old controllers in storage works. I don't know. It's a hamburger. I've gotten too much stuff. It's oh, always good stuff to have. Let's, let's eat this boiled egg and take this hamburger instead. What's up with this mushroom? Just, just there. Just there to look cool. It's a mushroom. Whoa! Little insects sneaking up on me. I have a chance for a surprise opening. Well, you know what? With there being so many of these guys, I think I just want to use my insect spray and make them all go away. That'll also free up some inventory space for me. And I'll only feel foolish if I get jumped by stronger insects very soon. It's like there's another group of insects over there. But that's not smaller in or harder insects, that's just equal. Uh oh, these guys can uh Try to hypnosis me? That could be bad. Fall asleep, get bitten a bunch while I'm asleep, and then I die. Oh yeah. Snuck by him, but not well enough. I think that's because the monkey hung out back there, so he just enacted the attack. Part of it might have been because I didn't realize that's what was going to happen and ran over there and dumped the monkey off right where they were. I probably could have gotten away from it without battling them if uh, I had prioritized that. But I didn't re realize or remember that I'd start with just a couple of moments of invincibility frames. Oh well. Ah! Okay, the mushroom is not something I want to deal with right now, so... We're going to be beating this strut and evil mushroom. Why not battle experience is good? Yeah, but I don't know exactly how deep I'm going to have to go with Jeff, and I only have so much to keep him going. I'd feel better if uh, I had somebody with some sort of healing spell on him, like Ness, but right now... I'm just having to go off of uh, the items I find in the dungeon. Which... All these mushrooms... Is it, is it, are these really not anything? Alright. Other than that, I gotta go with like eating this croissant, and then I got that hamburger, and then I'm out of healing stuff. So hopefully this doesn't go too deep. Ah! Crap. That wasn't good. 
messed that up. I was just trying to see if I, if I could see if there was any reason to want to go over there without triggering the battle. But then I triggered the battle and I panicked and I tried to run even though running was futile. So they got a surprise attack on me. Well, the good news is over there is clear now, so I can go look. Yeah, there's a chest. A little present for me. With a bottle rocket. Bottle rockets are good. Uh, no, don't. Don't be back. Stop it. Why? Why are you back? Disappear. No, disappear. Alright, fine, we fight. We fight! Alright, try to take out this mushroom, because I really don't want to get a mushroom on my head and have my controls all messed up. Okay, well... Spy? I didn't notice Spy yet. Unfortunately, I think I do just have to try to kill this uh, mushroom. That's alright. Keep trying to kill the mushroom. Just don't let it plant a mushroom on your head. The more you can dodge the mouse, the better. Good, good. Who's the nerd, Jeff? Ah, uh, he's the nerd. He's the new protagonist in our adventure as Ness failed and was captured when he was ambushed by zombies. And now we're Jeff and we're gonna we're gonna save the world. How's it going, bees? Uh Jeff is uh we don't know too much about him. He wakes up in a boarding school having dreams of being told by Paula to head south and come save them because they they messed up and they're captured in a in a bunker now mm, things look pretty grim a couple of children stuck in a bunker oh nice auto fight win I like the auto fights uh, so we're what we know about Jeff is he is the son of uh, a great adventurer, or sorry, a great inventor, not adventurer. And uh, he seems to be silent because he, he hasn't said anything to anybody yet that I've been able to discern. He's just sort of going. He wakes up in the middle of the night and his friend and roommate is like, what's going on? He's just like, well, I'm leaving. He doesn't say anything. He just continues to leave there's a cheap bracelet inside that's gonna be good put that on for some defense okay so there's a sparkly boss over there I don't know if we're gonna want to be dealing with that as Jeff or if that's something that we come back and deal with with the crew proper um, being said Am I missing a path? I feel like uh, this is this was all of the ways. Unless maybe I'm supposed to like use the bubblegum monkey to get to that rope, which I guess I try. Or maybe in here wasn't exactly where I was supposed to go just yet, and it was just for that bracelet. But Jeff's all right. He's uh got access to fixing up stuff in his sleep and getting a bunch of uh, one-shot equipment that we can use. Uh, what was this spy ability that I'll check out at some point when our life isn't on the line? And he's friends with a monkey. That's always cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is the thing to do. Okay, cool. Uh, well, we're gonna, we're gonna go over here where the boss is not. Uh oh. Now she's my type. I think I'll ask her for a date. And Jeff just lost his monkey friend. Just as we were praising monkey friends, his monkey found love and leaves us forever. But our, our entire friendship was based on gum. So I guess he's off to go do better things than blowing gum. All right, well, hello, sir. Oh, well, you're not friendly. All right, cave boy. Well, um, I guess I'll shoot you with my stun gun. You did 20 damage to me, that's not good. Um, if I just use a bottle rocket against you? 115? You're still up? I'm dead at zero, but somehow still alive. Uh, I've got a cookie, but if I eat that, then I'll just die. Because he'll hit me again. I guess I'll shoot you. Nope, it just... Jeff didn't realize he was dead yet. He just took a moment to realize he was dead. So... Well, now we know that that big guy is not just... A weirdly drawn NPC to talk to that is an enemy that wants our life and he can take it pretty easily so I guess we have to tromp our way back to there but oh well uh, do we get that rocket back no Still got the big bottle rocket, but we lose the bottle rocket against that thing. Bummer. Oh, you still think that it's an important fight for me to take the slug and the mouse? One-on-one -on -one against either of those things, the game's just like, ah, you win. But if they team up, it's like, eh, you know, maybe they can kill you. I don't think so, but... <laughs> All right, well, slow roll our way back to where we were, getting some free experience along the way as these fights were hard when we were here at first. Not so much anymore. In this game, just a couple of levels will do a world of difference. We're level what? 11 now? And we were 8 when we were in this room before? Big difference. Alright, well. They could do something to change up the, t the uh, enemy formations against us if they're just gonna provide a bunch of rooms in a hallway full of encounters. It'd be cool. And again, maybe I'm not supposed to get murdered by the caveman and have to redo this. That's probably likely. Alright, we're back. No, you stay away, caveman. What is this spot? This, this seems important for me to step on. There's... What the f this is all so confusing just all of a sudden there's a ladder and now there's a ringing it's your dad you've been out there a long time but this is jeff he doesn't even have the receiver phone this isn't net 20 i'm glad that you decided to take my advice stay at a nearby town and rest call me be on the lookout for shady characters no i'm not what I'm confused. He doesn't have the phone. 
that there was dialogue for it to be him. So they 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 put in the dialogue knowing that maybe the dad can call on his random timer during the period of time he plays Jeff. But with that knowledge, they just have him call him without the phone instead of them just not calling. No, it's weird. I guess the point of him calling is that this is a game that you typically play in longer bursts of time than other Nintendo games of that era. And they wanted that coverage of, hey, you should, you should, uh, you should stop and go outside. Oh, there's a giant iron eraser here. So, it's not time for us to be here yet. That did look very alien-like. So, Stonehenge thing. Well, ah! Will come into play soon enough. No cave boy. Shit. I'm using a defense spray. My defense goes up one. And now he's just missing. Just keep missing. Keep missing, cave boy. I don't know if my defense spray is somehow making him miss a bunch. Because I certainly didn't feel like he hit me for any less. Son of a bitch! <laughs> this guy was just out there waiting. Just waiting for me. I could have taken him down with my big bottle rocket, but I didn't want to take him out with my big bottle rocket. I only have one of those. Now I have to make the tromp back again. <laughs> Why? Everything about that was just terrible. From the investigating the dot in the Stonehenge, becoming a ladder, and getting the random phone call now catching the ambush from the slugs at least the slugs don't have like a chance of murdering me it's just annoying that they got the ambush Oi. those are some dead slugs Alright, I'm betting in like one more level the game will let me auto do these fights. That mouse has to crit me ten times to take me down. Can you just let me have the fight earthbound? I, I wonder what the, the bounds are in letting me just have the auto fights. Alright. Making our way back over here. Oh, a surprise attack! Means I get to kill one slug before the other slugs go, a second slug before the last slug goes, and then all of the slugs. I only got a little bit of slug slime on me. Alright. Maybe this time when I go up there I won't die from the cave boy getting the jump on me. I'll know that there's that hole that I could essentially fall into when I come out there's a cave boy waiting. I wasn't expecting traps. Alright, that level seemed like a big one for Jeff. You got a lot of offense. <laughs> offense. A lot of offense. And a lot of health. Yeah, that's right. Give me that cookie. Free fight. Alright, you leave me alone, cave boys. No. No, cave boy. No, you. You. The kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. 
You must have seen it on TV or read about it in the tabloids. Yes, that's Stonehenge. Yeah, I, I'm aware it's that Stonehenge. It's pretty icon. Thank you for the bits, Jackal. Much appreciated. Kill the shrooms! Oh, we found this lab. Is that gonna be helpful at all? Mr. Brickrow, the dungeon maker, referred you, right? Not only that, what? Who? My son? Oh, I can't, I can't believe it. You're Jeff, my boy. It's been maybe ten years since I saw you. I'm so glad you're such a healthy boy. Those glasses look good on you. How about a donut? Well, I was only offering. I'd also like a donut right about now. Have you already checked out Stonehenge? Well, at least I asked. Hmm, hmm, okay. By the way, why are you here? Oh, I see. A girl named Paula must have sensed I was here. Okay, I'll try to help you out. I'm trying to make a phase distorter that connect two points in the space and time. It's still incomplete. I'll let you use another invention I call the Skyrunner. It's a little bit old, but it'll certainly help. When you board, always listen for the message that comes from your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to the message. The round machine over there is the Skyrunner. What do you think? Isn't it neat? Get in! Let's get together again in ten years or so. <laughs> Great dad, right? Just like, hey, I haven't seen you in 10 years. Immediately get in this spacecraft, go away, and I'll see you again in 10 years. Bye. Well, if that's how things are going to be, let's see if we can steal anything before we leave. There's a broken pipe in here. I'm taking it. This is my broken pipe. Dad. Uh. Wait, isn't, isn't this the thing? Or is, it this, is this the thing? Uh, yeah, I'll take a free revitalization in a few seconds for a good night's sleep. You already take, put me in the thing. There we go. And now will UFO fly over to the area we need in three? Three. What happened? It's not moving. Why don't you try pushing buttons on the controller? Music of this game is just so good. Thank you again for those bits, Obscure Jackal. I, I very much appreciate it. Flying over four. Side. That's the name of the place. I was like, for something. Ooh, there was a present there to make note of in the desert. Getting closer, another present there. The desert was right outside of three. Made it to three. This hellscape. You look away for two minutes to make dinner an hour at a UFO. That's that's earthbound. Yeah, Jeff. Jeff bound his father, and his father's like, hey, check this shit out I made. Pushed him in and sent him away. <laughs> Luckily, this is getting us to uh help. Ness and Paula, who are in dire need of help. <laughs> yeah, it was it was pretty great. He's like, I haven't seen you in ten years. Uh oh, you need you need to leave? Well, alright. Uh I got this thing that'll take you there. Just go in there and uh, I'll catch you in ten years. We'll do this every ten years. Man, oh man, did that ever scare me? 
The Skyrunner, I guess I took a little damage while landing. Oh well. You don't have to explain a thing. I'm Jeff. I think this is the first time we've actually had Jeff talk. I came because you called me. I'm not very strong. Really nearsighted. Kinda shy. And I tend to be a little reckless. This is just the way I am. I hope you want me to be your friend, okay? Alright! Let's get back to the journey then. Jeff joined you. All right, and now that Jeff has gone in here, we can go out of this hole that he created in the sky. No, we can fly out of the machine that he just broke. No, the hilarious way that we are able to get out of this door. If you recall, at the beginning, Jeff's ridiculous bad key machine. So we don't need the key anymore. Though it might be named the Bad Key Machine, it might as well just be called, uh, the Lock Pick. The Electric Lock Pick. Um, and I don't think, uh, I don't think when you dig into a graveyard you're supposed to find a hollow cave underneath. I think that's for design. I was gonna go over to heal, but I guess everybody's already healed. I'm quite curious at this point if I were to die, does it take me back to Jeff before he saves these guys? I don't want to die to find out, but I will risk the chance of dying to potentially find out. I guess we found a picture spot. These things always catch me off guard a little bit. Picture is taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius. If I do say so myself, okay. You ready for an instant memory? Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles. What a great photograph. It'll bring back the fondest memories. Paul and Jeff are just stunned. They were just like... Dude, just helicopters out of the freaking sky. That's his gimmick. I, I I don't think that one's ever explained. I think he's just he's just here for video games. <laughs> All right, let's get back over to the portion of the graveyard in which there were two the the two zombies that stared into my soul. Whoa, that's a lot of insects. I kind of wish Jeff still had that insect repellent at this point, but you know, that's okay. And now that Jeff is more protected with Nat 20 and Paul around, we can see what this spy does. I imagine it might be showing us stats or something. Offense is 35, defense is... Vulnerable to fire, paralysis, open to hypnosis. That's a fair bit of information. Okay, okay. Well, Paula's uh, doing a good job of just flaming out these no good flies. While we can beat and shoot this ghost in the back. It is a ghost, right? It's a smelly ghost, in fact. Although Jeff's little taser doesn't do too much against a smelly ghost, it seems. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense that a baseball bat does, but okay. Oh, and the smelly ghost can recover itself. That's good. That's real good for us. <laughs> he can vent terrible odors and make people lose their desire to be offensive. He can nearly one-hit Jeff. That's another lovely thing that he can do. Fine. If that's how you want to play this. Oh no! But the life up clicked before the zero. Or, I mean, the zero was on screen, but 
the life up clicked before the game counted the zero, so hooray, he gets to live, I guess. The smelly ghost isn't that hard, except I don't want to waste all of my PP getting rid of a smelly ghost. There he goes. Nat 20 Ness will level up some more. Jeff will level up some more. None of those level ups seemed all that helpful. Uh, that's just a mess of flies over there that I do not want to deal with if I can avoid it. Maybe I can't. Maybe I have to deal with the mess of flies. Or maybe I can just sneak my way up here. How beat up is everybody? I guess the question then is how much health could they be maxed at? Yeah, they're fine. Whoa. He stares into your soul. He looks you over. Yeah. 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 Well, does Jeff come with anything that might make this different? What if I tell you the angle at which you're staring? Yeah, I didn't think so. Hmm. Well, I guess just coming over here with Jeff doesn't, uh, doesn't provide the answers. I'm more inclined to just blow all of my attacks and PP in killing these things. As we're probably heading back over to the hotel to rest again. As that's the last place we saw that lady that jumped us, so that's the first place we're gonna go back and look. You just had to kill Paula, didn't you, you smelly ghost? Now we gotta make a pit stop at the hospital first. Smelly ghosts. Ah! The audacity of this smelly ghost. Oh, this one's a zombie a zombie possessor. Well, I guess it doesn't have that much audacity with it. Uh... I didn't realize I had all hypnosis and paralysis yet. Maybe I should think about using some of those sometimes. You killed Jeff too? You weren't, you weren't just settled with killing Polly, you had to kill Jeff too? Now you're scaring Ness to death? It's not gonna work out for you with the power of baseball and beards. Ness will live even if nobody else will. Yay! No! I just want to go to the hospital. Oh, there's two different ones. Handsome Tom, Smiling Sam. I don't like that. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, good. I don't want my defense to go down and then for you suddenly be hitting me for like 50 and everything be terrible suddenly. I could see that happening pretty easily. Well, you seem to be a little resistant against my beard and a little resistant against my bat. Ooh, that wasn't good. I don't like that. Die. Try to not take as much of that crit hit as we can, but I think it might have all ticked away on us. It's all the way down there. Alright. It's making our way downtown. Walking fast, getting past all the zombies. What? Thought I had notifications turned off. There's, there's, I thought there was an ATM. Alright, well how much are you going to charge me to bring him back, lady? One twenty. I'll 
also 120. All right. So unprofessional indeed. I thought that all of the hospitals in this game had ATMs for me to utilize since they only accept cash, which seems like a terrible way to run a hospital. <laughs> cash up front or we don't heal you. I'll just take five to be safe. Do you have anything uh, that I care about? Get some insecticide spray. Maybe. Be cheap. Oh, we definitely need to get uh, a hard hat for Jeff. Uh, I'll carry it right now, though. What will we get? More money out of the ATM. hundred bucks more. Just so we have a little bit of walking around, okay? You were talking about my phone. <laughs> yeah, professionality has never been the name of the game here. I still have the uh, picture of the makeshift microphone setup that I used for years as my top pinned picture on the on my Twitter. When I bought a $5 clip-on microphone, clipped it to the end of a, just a straw, just a, a straw that I bent and just bent it so many times in the same way that it held the same bent shape once I used the clip to clip it onto the straw and stuck the whole thing in my wallet every time I wanted to record as a stand. Don't think I could have made that five dollar mic work out any better than that. Well, at least now I know I'm, the circus is where I'm supposed to go after I rest. That dude bolted in there. There's an ATM at the hotel. All right, that's good. 180. Jeez. They are ramping up the price of these hotels. Last one was like 60. And the first one was like 20. Jeez. Better come with like a steak for dinner. During the night, he fixed the broken air gun, and it becomes the Magnum air gun? Okay. Is that, uh, something that he can equip? Yeah, it's actually quite a bit better than his stun gun. Oh yeah, also we got this hard hat for him. We need to put that in his hands. Paula! Oh. oh. I guess we need to, uh, give one of his cookies over to Paula. His inventory spots fill up quick. Get me to the right screen. There we go. Okay. Only two beds. Yeah. Something something happened in there. Somebody was doubling up. Alright. Uh wait. There's a phone in here, isn't there? Yes. On this phone. I would like to call the Escargo Express. I want you to pick up stuff. Cause I got a lot of crap that I don't think I need as it's quest items. I don't know what else to do with it other than give it to you and get it out of my face. But then I also have a bunch of other stuff that I can just sell too. I want to get that out of my face too. Yeah. Oh shoot, I only have 17 bucks. Shit. <laughs> well, that's funny. It's pretty funny, exactly one dollar short. Especially because if I had made the trip here first, 
forgotten here before he showed up, I would have all this extra money. If I used the sign yet that I got in the beginning of the game, the for sale sign, I have used it, but not too effectively. I kind of forgot about that I had it. Although it's uh, good to have around if I need to sell stuff in like a dungeon. Alright, let's try that delivery again. No. Wait, yes, I did pickups right. Yes. Alright. Yeah. And he should show up before we get into the circus. Because I'm gonna try to squeeze through buildings I have no business squeezing through. Can you cover the bill this time, bud? Alright, thanks. This is something that you should probably ask over the phone. Alright, um... I don't think... Oh, crap! That was the wrong button. Well, crap, I guess I'm just holding on to all of it for right now. Shush. I was gonna pass off uh, the backstage pass and some other stuff. People used to call me evil, but these zombies are much more scary. I left my wife and kids at home to escape to this tent. That's how scary the zombies are. Frankly, I'm running scared. I don't mean that I'm actually running around. I just mean that I'm frightened. Conditions in the town are getting worse. Why don't we get all the zombies in this tent and then set it on fire? We may all get munched before we have a chance to do anything. I'm glad you're gonna help us, but you're pretty young. So this weird object was flying around and crashed into the graveyard. It looked like it was straight out of a Saturday morning cartoon. Did you come here in that flying contraption? How can we defeat zombies? Oh, I just don't know. Well, I totally saw somebody beeline in here, so this is where I thought I was supposed to be. Hmm. Hmm. Ow. What was that? Oh, rock in the carpet. Stuck my foot. It's okay, though. Caught me off guard more than anything. Um, Toy air gun is not better than what he has. Yes, at least it was in glass. I'd be quite concerned if I had glass broken in my room. Little bits of rock make sense. Gravel gets stuck in the shoes. This little glass could too. Very good that it's not that. Alright, well... I just now realized that we're sleeping in the room we got ambushed in. And nobody cares. Do you have anything to say about the lady that ambushed us? No. Do you have anything? A few days ago, the zombies got some kids at this hotel. The boy had a red cat. Hey, it was you! Yeah. You, you, you don't... Alright, fine. Don't be helpful. What about you? Welcome to Three Sunset Hotel. Oh yeah, no, you're just... You're just trying to sell me a room. That makes sense. Uh, hmm. Well, we've got Jeff now. 
Which gives us the broken key machine to get into locked doors. That's about it as far as what we've gained from having Jeff in the party now that we're no longer trapped. So... My mom told me no open the door cause zombies are coming. So... Then... Where is it? That it would make sense to need that ability. Is there somewhere else in the graveyard for me to be looking around if I'm neglecting? These are the questions. Yes, I can cover the bill. I would like you to take this pack of gum as the monkey is no longer with us. I would like you to take this backstage pass as we don't need it anymore, I'm pretty sure. And why don't you also take, uh... Nah, that's fine. Wait, no, we're good with that. Yeah. Take that stuff. Back, just for the fun of it, because I saw something that I could sell. Paula waved the for sale sign around. Hi, is this a tool shop? Cool, what are you selling? Oh, well, good news for you, I have this lovely Holmes hat. About 29? Yes, just, just take it away from here, please. However much. However much. I was kind of thinking I might be able to do this fight without it uh, actually doing the fight. But I guess it's going to make me actually fight Handsome Tom. At least Paul gets a level out of it. Oh, Jeff too! Jeff too! Good for them. Ah! You tricked me! You stinky ghost. Lightning it. Lightning the ghost. It has a terrible odor and it's stupid. Get hit with lightning. Hit it. Just, just keep lightning it. It says thunder and I keep saying lightning even though it says thunder right in my face. The attack looks more like lightning to me than thunder, but I guess, you know, how do you look like thunder? Thunder's a sound. Alright, well, it took my picture when I was here. Over here is where they put... Okay, I can't fight one of these zombies, but it's not that helpful because it's not the one up there that's blocking my way. But there is an urban zombie here to fight. He'll taste some thunder. How does he feel about thunder? 121? Eat that thunder. You are no problem to me. Alright, well if I go back down here... Did I miss something? If I investigate the wreckage some better, it's impossible to fix for the time being. Oh, maybe we can fix it someday. Maybe, maybe someday we fix it. But that's not the answer right now. The answer right now involves being swarmed by a lot of insects that luckily disappear. Alright, bash that thing. Paula. Paula. 
Are you good enough to kill the insects with one fire yet? I hope you are. I believe in you, Paula. Oh, Paul, it wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough. You gotta cast it again. Use all of that extra PP to get rid of those no good flies. But soon, soon you'll be able to do it with one fire blast. Very soon. Very soon. Jeff too busy crying to hit the enemy. All cleaned up. Jeff's levels aren't really giving him too much of anything. It's unfortunate. It does seem crying doesn't persist throughout or past the battle. Good. And all of those insects that I thought had left just disappeared momentarily to fight me now. Get a surprise attack because I tried to get away but could not. Jeff just gonna go back to crying. That's fine. Thunder costs a lot less, but I don't get to choose who it hits. And I guess it can hit nobody. That's that makes sense. I don't think I've seen it hit nobody yet. hitting nobody a lot. Okay, well. Can you spy while you're crying, Jeff? Oh, you can die while you're crying, that's for sure. Well? Jeff may be dead. We may have to bring him back to the hospital. Oh, how is that a sneak attack? Come on. I pissed off the zombies doing whatever I'm doing. That makes me think I'm somewhat on the right track. Oh, don't kill Paula. Don't kill Paula. He's got one health left. And she really wants to set some zombies on fire and then see what the hell this beards is about. Alright, well, guess we gotta take our people back to the hospital. I don't think I have enough money to picking people up, so we'll take a quick pit at the hotel. Just to see this ATM over here. And... A fair bit of money in the ATM now. I probably had enough on me to pick somebody up at the hospital, but that's okay. We'll have to stop by the hotel again to rest afterwards. I'll have to figure out... Man, tricky to get around this stuff. Figure out where I think the next place I need to be going is. So I feel like the graveyard is the right track, but I also don't know what else is there that I haven't seen. Maybe it's changed since I was last there and need to go look. These are all things that will be investigated and figured out in the next episode, if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching this live with me right now on Twitch, in the next few minutes. But after I rest here, I'm gonna be taking a another like less than five minute break to use the restroom, get a drink together get myself ready and raring to go for streaming for another hour.
my battery life on my phone doing for all this. Seems fine. That's always something to check is my battery life. To see if I need to set it up for the setup I have that utilizes the battery a little better but doesn't end up working as well or as easy. But stop this one here for the recording.